I thank you all of the brothers and sisters that send me such a sweet greeting for Supreme Master Ching Hai Day. But as I have told you long ago, Supreme Master Ching Hai Day is not my day. It's a day of charity, a day of goodness, a day of connection with each other in the brotherhood of humanity. And sometimes I saw the brothers and sisters going out of their houses to bring love, comfort, warmth, and caring action to other people on the street who are less fortunate, or to the animal people who are even less, less fortunate, to bring them some comfort, even physical, but with love. That makes it my day all the time. And that will be pleasing to heaven and pleasing to God, of course. Right. Yes, Master. Yes. That makes me feel like a lot of teaching from the previous Masters, present Masters and future Masters will not be in vain. There is something that I I am updated on with the world's end and the world's karma, but I didn't know whether I should talk about that. I don't know how many people listen to me, but the disciples, they should know to prepare. Yes, Master. Because this is very important and very serious. Now, remember last time we were talking about 2027? Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. When the vision of one person shown the whole world to be empty everywhere of humanity and animal people and any activities. Remember that? Yes, yes Master. Master. So this phenomena, this event, this negative event, this horrific event will start in November 2027 onward all the way until November 2031. Oh no. Oh, my goodness. I wrote here that will wipe out humanity. Wow. Oh, God. So the world people will die 72%. Oh, oh, my oh God. dear God. Terrible. Oh, Zealous demons and all special demons are forced by karma to kill world people. I want to tell my so-called disciples, if you still call me master, please listen well. If you do want to survive, please prepare many things. Heaven also told me in one of my meditations in the darkness of the night, do not lose your hope to save your world. So I'm keeping that hope alive, even weak, like a small flame, but it can spread to a bigger flame. So I keep that flame alive, and so should you, and so should the disciples. But I hope we will win. The positive power of people will win. With God's blessing, God's grace, and God's mercy. Yes, Master. Amen. Pray for that. Please continue watching to find out more. This clip will be aired with more subtitles later today. During a conference with Supreme Master Television team members on Sunday, February 19, 2023, our most beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, kindly inquired about the team's well-being as she also expressed her heartfelt appreciation for the greetings on the occasion of Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, celebrated annually on February 22nd, recorded by our association members. Moreover, Master shared an important update concerning the world's future and its karma. Hello, Master. Hello, Master. Hello, hello. How are you guys? Is everything okay still? Yes, yes everything master. is okay. Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy to hear. Yes. I've just watched some of the happy Ching Hai days. Greetings from your brothers and sisters from all over the world. And I was so touched. This world of sincere longing for home and gratitude for God's blessing and grace really, really 
brought tears to my eyes oh. <laughs> and in my heart I was so touched so so happy that I have so a uh, good so good uh, so called disciples yeah I mean disciples of God understand master that they are so grateful and they improve and they progress very well that their spiritual level has been going up and up all these years and I'm so happy because I don't always have time to think of such things nowadays because I know they're progressing all of them I mean most of them it's just that I don't have time to check one by one and seeing them on the screen to say thank you and and to show their love and happiness like that really make my day yeah yeah yes. grandma yes, master is happy and you know what loving words spoken sincerely always touch people's hearts and lift them up to earth's higher consciousness and improve their relationship yes 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 master, master. and enhance the connection inside your heart inside your soul so i do hope also that people in the world will be speaking always in this kind of language with this kind of sincere love and care and gratitude for everything that they have that everything good is coming their way yes yes, yes master, master. and each one would feel maybe much much better in their daily life and also in their spiritual connection with the divine within them yes master yes, yes master. master even though it's just normal worldly language but if spoken with such sincerity and intensity of love longing and connection then it will help people lift them up at least temporarily and make them long to search for something beyond that yes i understand master i thank you all of the brothers and sisters they send me such a sweet greeting for supreme master ching hai day but as i have told you long ago supreme master ching hai day is not my day it's a day of charity a day of goodness and they have connection with each other in the brotherhood of humanity and sometimes i saw the brothers and sisters going out of their houses to bring love comfort warmth and caring action to other people on the street who are less fortunate or to the animal people who are even less less fortunate to bring them some comfort even physical but with love that makes my day all the time and that will be pleasing to heaven and pleasing to god of course right. yes master yes. Master. Yes. master that makes me feel like a lot of teaching from the previous masters present masters and future masters will not be in vain that people do still remember their godliness within and i'm so happy every time i see people are kind to each other or kind to the animals people i'm always very happy happy and grateful in my heart i pray that all the world's people behave that way not just in our group or spiritual people groups but everywhere you know everywhere yes 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 that will uplift their souls uplift the planet and that will bring happiness to each other in the world as well as bringing joy to heaven and even to god to see the world in harmony in peace in loving kindness as well as in gratitude to the most high i just want to thank all of you as well you know not just you the group has always ready <laughs> with <laughs> equipment <laughs> <laughs> to listen to my talk or to communicate but to many other assistants over the years that have helped me in different ways to make my work smoother go better and easier for me yes yes, yes. master all right good are you guys all still there yes, yes master, master. Yes, master. Yes. we are here 
Okay. There was some problem before. Okay. Right. Uh, it's not always uh, because I forgot to turn on the electricity of the internet. It's just sometimes the internet doesn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, then, master. Master. Understand. Even the phone doesn't work. Is the karma? Is the solar flare? Is the uh, whatever? Oh. You know. Okay. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, there is something that I I am updated on with the work and then the works karma, but I didn't know whether I should talk about that. And then whenever I want to talk about it, there's a problem just like now we had, yeah? Two times. Oh, yeah. I understand. Must be a lot of karma, you know, heaven doesn't want me to talk about it, but I will talk anyway, because I want to tell people to prepare, whoever wants to listen. Okay? Thank you, yes, Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Master. This is just to tell all of you, the disciples, because outside people, I don't know how many people listen to me, but the disciples, they should know to prepare. Yes, yes Master. Master. Because this is very important and very serious. So now, before I started, I asked everyone to pray that I am wrong, that I heard it wrong, that everything is wrong. So that it won't happen, even if the whole world really cruel for me, or say I am making up the story, whatever. I don't care as long as it will be wrong. I would love to have it wrong. <sighs> But what I mean is, the heavens and the positive force are still fighting to help humankind in any way they can, to save as many lives as possible, human and. Animal beings and other beings on this planet. Yes, yes, master. Understand, yes, master. master. Yes, master. But it could be that we will fail. It could be. Oh. I am very sorry and ashamed that I might fail. But the karma is so huge, and they're making more and more karma nowadays with war, with threatening, and with spending all the precious money of the taxpayers to make weapons. I mean, mass destructive weapons. It's not just normal like a small gun or machine gun. Yes, 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 yes. It's a thing that could even cover the whole of Europe, like missile. Yes. For example, it could be deployed anywhere, the whole mm -hmm. of Europe or the whole of America. Yes, yes, master. yes, yes master. Such things cause huge, 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 immense karma that is very, very difficult and almost impossible to erase. If it happens. Yes, yes, yes master. Yes, master. And even just to think about these weapons, to want to destroy humanity with these kinds of weapons, it's already created tremendous karma. Yes, 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 master. Master. yes master. Yes, master. Mm. So now humanity are crazy. Even listening to just one crazy, possessed leader of a nation is enough to cause havoc. For all the war already, as you see, with the war that the Russian uh, Kremlin has created. Yeah? Yes, yes, yes master. master. Hundreds of thousands of innocent people just died like that already, including women, children, the elderly, and animal people, and hindering, making trouble for food distribution, food cultivation, harvesting, and all that. And then the economy is going down with it as well, and gas and Electricity, everything. Yes, master. yes, master. It's not just the lives. It's an immense, terrible negative effect on the lives of everybody on this planet. Wow. Russia invaded Ukraine in the pre-dawn hours of February the 24th, 2022. This after President Vladimir Putin spent months building up troops along the border. The unprovoked attack sparked the biggest flow of refugees since World War II. Over 8 million Ukrainians have fled the war. Tens of thousands have died or been wounded amid unspeakable brutality. But the impact extends far beyond the human tragedy. The fighting between two of the world's biggest food producers hampered exports from the region. Together, Russia and Ukraine had accounted for a quarter of global wheat trade and half of sunflower seeds and oil. Prices around the world surged, though they have since eased back. 
The conflict also caused the biggest European energy crisis in decades, especially in Germany, forcing countries to cut their reliance on Russian exports. Before the war, more than 40% of EU imports of natural gas came from Russia, and over a quarter of oil imports. No longer. The soaring prices helped fuel the fastest inflation in the Euro's history, forcing the ECB into its most aggressive series of rate hikes ever. A year later, the war shows no signs of ending, although Ukraine has made advances against Russian forces using weapons mostly supplied by the US and Europe. It will take hundreds of billions of dollars to one day rebuild the nation. What comes next may in large part depend on Russia's moves, Western support and Ukrainian determination, led by a president who's become a household name around the world. So now, that's why I'm telling you the Lord of Karma is not even leniency. Even heaven also agrees with it, that humans don't deserve any more leniency. That is the thing. Oh. So now I'm going to tell you the updates, okay? okay. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Thank you. As I told you, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I heard it wrong, but I wrote it all down on a small piece of paper. Now, remember last time we were talking about 2027? Yes. Yes, yes, Master. Yes, master. When the vision of one person shown the world to be empty everywhere of humanities and animal people and any activities. Remember that? Yes, yes master. master. Okay, so this phenomena, this event, this negative event, this horrific event will start in November 2027 onward, all the way until November 2031. Oh no. Oh, my goodness. I wrote here that will wipe out humanity. Wow. Oh, God. So the world people will die 72%. Oh, oh, my, oh, God. God. oh my God. Terrible. But they told me you and Initiates will survive for a long time. Oh. I just read to you what I have noted down, okay? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. As is, and maybe I explain some things, or maybe not. Okay, now I continue reading. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. <sighs> Zealous demons and all special demons are forced by karma to kill world people. I wrote what they told me, okay? All this is in quotation marks because it's not my talk. Unless yes, they're master. 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 I wrote, it continued. 2027 starting and until four years after, till 2031, November. This four year period is for wiping out all humanities and, of course, animal people as well. Wow. wow. Yeah. wow. That's terrible. That's terrible. And from 2027, Supreme Master TV will be zero. Oh. Oh. Maybe we cannot work anymore because there's no communication, because there's no internet, because all these systems will be damaged or destroyed. Oh, we are so oh, sorry. I'm so sorry, sorry. to hear that, Master. I don't have time to go into so much detail. All these things already very badly affected my heart already. Understand, Master. Understand. But then I also asked them in between, so to, you say that I and the initiates will continue to live, but what do we live for? If everybody dies, what do we live for and what do we live on? They said, anything, any food left in the field, you can eat. Oh, oh. That's what they said. Okay, and then I said, then, uh, can you just tell me some number? I will just read whatever I have written, okay? Yes. Yes, yes, yes master. Master. It might not make continuous sense, but I wrote it before, I forgot. For example, in India, I asked them how many people will live. For example, in India, there are many initiates. Yes. yes. And not just ours, but from other groups as well, yeah? Like from Bias. Yes, yes, yes master. master. So in India, there will be 1,223,141 
initiated the survive. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's probably 2027. And then, for example, in the UK, 2027, 42% people left. Oh, oh, oh. But 2031, in the UK, it will be zero. Oh, oh, oh. Except the initiates. I say, how about my initiates? They say in UK, there will be 140 total initiates. We leave. We survive. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I asked how about EU, the European Union. They told me 0% left. Zero. Oh, wow. This is shocking. How shocking. Let me read. Okay. Oh, in the EU, there will be 300 total persons initiates left. In Taiwan, 9,321 persons left, oh. including initiates, I guess, or maybe just initiates. The conversation was very fast, you know? Understand. Yes, Master. I have to note it down and without time to ask more questions. Uh, UK in 2031, did I say it already? Wiped out. How much left? I asked. How much left? They say zero. And how about initiates? They say survive. Some survive, yeah? I said, oh, how come? Even if we have like an, a thumb bomb or anything that goes off, how come everyone dies like that? So they told me, the zealous demons and other demons will suffocate people with weapons of karmic poison, so they will just disappear. Oh no. Oh, oh, my, oh god. my god. I had no chance to ask what kind of karmic poison. I kept asking, but they didn't answer me afterward. Yes, yes, yes master. master. The next page, if I have to this is something else. Uh, something about King Charles uh, III. I I don't want to talk about it. Okay, yes, master. master. Not convenient. Yeah, about his life. Something here. World War will start at year end. Oh my, oh, god. my god! Oh my god! That's what it's supposed to be. We so hope not happen. Will happen. World Zero Humans in 2047. Oh, oh it's very this shocking. Is shocking. You and your disciples will be peace, happy, and liberated in 2047. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how I'll be happy, even liberated, or not. Um, Okay, that's it. Uh, the other one concerning other things comes, by the way, I don't want to talk about it. Understand, Master. It's concerning the royal family, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, okay, that's it. More or less, that's it. I shortened it. When we were talking in the conference, it took a longer time. Yes, Master. Understand. All this is not just their talking, but it's my questions in between as well, which I eliminated because I wanted to write fast what they were saying, not what I'm asking. Oh, I see, Master. What they were saying already is clear enough without even hearing my question. These are all the answers already. Understand. Understand. Yes, Master. Master. And I want everybody to pray that I heard it wrong. Yeah, we hope so. But I'm not wrong. I know that. And the thing is, we are still fighting and negotiating with the negative side. 
in order to come to a better conclusion. But this is all what's supposed to happen if we fail to negotiate or exchange something. Yes, Master. Master. Because the karma is too big. Every time in any way, the karma has been always too big for any master alone to take care of. Mostly even if they die, they sacrifice ultimately for the sake of others. They can only rescue their disciples and some of the followers or their relatives and friends and up to nine generations. Understand, Understand, Master. Master. No one can absorb the whole karma of the world. Thus, we always will have war, famine, pandemics, and all that. Nowadays, it seems like more than ever before, we have different infections, and the pandemic keeps getting more and more little. And not only that, there are many different diseases all over the world nowadays that still baffles scientists and medical research people. Yes, Master. And earthquakes and storms everywhere. Just now we had an earthquake in Turkey and Syria that killed more than 46,000 people already and still many are missing. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. More than 46,000 people have been killed in the earthquake. The toll is expected to soar with some 345,000 apartments in Turkey now known to have been destroyed and many are still missing. Fatima's whole world has gone. Few of her family survived. On a patch of wasteland in a broken city, they try to keep warm. As she lists the dead. Mother, father, sisters, brothers, in-laws. 13 lost to the rubble, 10 children orphaned. We heard stories of people being taken out of the rubble but dying from cold, Fatima tells me. Aisha shows us the government-supplied shelter she shares with 10 others. They have no toilets or showers and a growing fear of disease. We can't deal with an outbreak now. Those who survived will then die. Half of the city is dead, she says. And even then, New Zealand also just had an earthquake as well. You heard that. You know, right? Yes, Master. Yes. yes. So it will not stop there. Oh, understand, Master. It's not like we are not diligently helping, but it just had to happen. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. Understand, Master. And the core of the planet just stopped spinning. Wow, wow. And the magnetic field has been damaged. Oh. And the sun is flaring. And one meteorite just hit the earth somewhere in Texas, if I remember well. Yes, oh. Master. And so many other diseases. Before, the bird flu did not affect humans too much. Nowadays, it affects humans more, more than ever before. And they are making war with the humans that raise the chicken people for food. Yes, 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 master. yes, master. There are many, many other things I can't remember. You can see on the internet that everywhere is like a killing field nowadays. Our world. Everywhere. Yes, master. Killing children also. The elderly and even healthy people. So that's why I thought I have to tell people this, even though I hesitated for a long, long time. And even if I tried it before, it kept giving me trouble. 
like heaven doesn't want humans to be prepared. But I want them to know, even if they don't believe me, at least they know it, and they can choose to be prepared to repent or not, so that as many can be saved as possible. Yes, yes, master. yes master. Thank, Thank you, master. master. But my heart is so much in pain, and I, I don't rest well. I'm tossed and turned. Whenever I need to rest, I can't even rest. I don't need to drink tea or coffee to keep myself restless. Oh dear. And too much work also. I understand. And a lot of obstruction, like no internet, internet trouble, telephone, caports, and all kinds of stuff that I alone have to take care of. Oh. Oh. It's not easy for me alone to take care of everything. I understand. I understand, Master. Everything takes time, even the small details. If I have a small room or a big room, it depends on where I go. I don't turn on all the lights. I use only where I need to use. Yes, my sir. And I use like a solar flashlight as well. Yes. 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 Because my phone, I turn it off. Whenever I don't use it, I turn it off. And I want to tell the disciples, at least, who listen. That you have to say whatever you can. It's not just because of money, it's the karma. It's also for other people who need it. If we use too much, other people might not be able to afford it because the price will go up if things are not enough. Yes, understand. Yeah, understand. So I save electricity, I don't turn on all the lights wherever I don't need, not because I save the money, but for other people to use, to share. Yes, yes, yes. So that the price will not be too overpicked and put other people into suffering and despair. But I want to tell you people, the so-called disciples, if you still believe in me and if you still want to live, in case you want to choose to live or survive whatever you can, maybe you will not die, maybe we win. Because heaven also told me in one of my meditations, in the darkness of the night, do not lose your hope to save your world. I will give a photograph, then you can see my scrapping writing in the dark. Mm. I have to use a pen and my other finger to trace my writing. Oh. So it's mm. not like a straight line, because if I didn't use my other finger to trace it, then I would probably write one word on top of the other. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Master. So it's Say, don't lose your hope to save your world. Oh, and that made me feel very, very, somehow much better after that. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. And I wrote it, I taped it on the wall where I'm working. I'm going to give you a photograph of that. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Don't laugh at my writing. No, no Master. No, Master. Because it's written in complete darkness. I could not find the light at that time, and I didn't want the light to disturb my continued vision for many other things. Understand, yes, master. yes, Master. I want to tell my so-called disciples, if you still call me Master, please listen well. If you do want to survive, please prepare many things, like prepare solar flashlight, yeah, anything solar that you can, and then prepare food. Yes, yes Master. Yes. At least it lasts for two weeks or months or more if you can those that will not be rotten soon yes yes and if you're using some of them because the date of expiration is soon then you buy new ones to replace it in your pantry or in your cellar wherever you put your food those you don't need a refrigerator like rice dry noodles of different kinds of beans dry beans or canned beans and canned food and dry food, you save some for yourself in case really an emergency breaks out. I do hope not. I do hope not. Please pray that whatever I say to you is wrong. But just prepare in case. Who knows? Yes, Master. Yes, yes Master. Master. Now, prepare food and prepare something for an emergency, warming the house. Look on the internet to learn many things that you could survive with in case of an emergency. Yes, 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 yes
etc. In case atomic bombs or nuclear bombs explode somewhere, even if not too near you, and of course, especially if near you, don't go out. Don't go out for as long as possible. Depends on where you are, of course. Just stay indoors. Eat whatever you have in your pantry. It's safer. Don't try to go out and look for food or take things from the agriculture fields. They are contaminated and you will be breathing in contaminated air. Just stay put inside the house. If you can, or anywhere inside, okay? Stay put. Understand. Yes, master. There is something also called anti-radiation drugs. I don't know how effective it is, but you guys can try to see if it's good. Then you can also prepare to have some at home in case. Yes, yes, yes master. master. But if a nuclear weapon lands within a 50 kilometers radius near where you live, then you don't eat anything in the field for at least many weeks or months on end because it will be contaminated by the radiation of the atom bomb or nuclear bomb. Okay, Master. Understand, Master. 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 Knowing what to do in the first hour of a nuclear attack might just mean the difference between life and death. <laughs> An atom bomb destroys or injures in three ways, by blast, heat, and radioactivity. These, then, are the weapons of the atom bomb that we must protect against. According to Jeff Schlegelmilch, Deputy Director at the National Center for Disaster Preparedness, If you see a nuclear flash, the first thing to do is get behind a barrier in case the shockwave comes. Bear in mind, the shockwave is traveling at hundreds of kilometers an hour, so you won't have long to find cover. Radiation safety specialist Brooke Budmeyer recommends sheltering behind something that is structurally sound. When I think of where I would go for protection from prompt effects and from the blast wave in particular, I think of the same kinds of things that we do for tornadoes. Be in an area where if there's a dramatic jolt, things aren't going to fall on you. If you do manage to survive the shockwave, things sadly don't get much easier. It's now a real race against time. You will have some time to take action to keep you and your family safe. The biggest thing, get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. The likelihood is that you'll have somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes to find shelter. First off, don't stay in your car. The metal doors and glass windows are going to be way too thin to protect you from gamma radiation. Mobile homes won't offer adequate shelter either. Instead, try to find a basement or a larger multi-story building. Remembering the key factor is putting as many thick layers between you and the fallout. We're talking concrete or brick here, so nice-looking glass skyscrapers or homes built out of wood and plaster aren't your best bets. If you're in a city with a subway system, heading deep inside would also offer a decent level of protection. Assuming you've made it inside somewhere above ground, avoid the top floors. All the fallout is going to settle on the roof. And the whole point of going inside is to stay as far away as possible from those pesky dust particles that are emitting dangerous levels of gamma radiation, which could lead to radiation poisoning. Instead, get to the center of the building. If there's time to close off areas where fallout might enter, doors, fireplaces, air conditioners, windows, then do it. Okay, let's look at a slightly different scenario, one where things didn't go quite so smoothly. This time we've abandoned our car and sprinted to the nearest sturdy looking building, but fallout might be starting to land around you. If you think it is, the best thing to do is cover your nose and mouth with a rag and close your eyes. Stumbling around like this won't be easy, so in this example, it's taken 15 minutes to actually get inside. Did any of that fallout land on you? Is it in your hair or on your clothes? It might be, which means you're at risk of getting acute radiation poisoning. Carefully remove your outer layer of clothing. This can remove 90% of radioactive material. Put it in a plastic bag and leave it somewhere far out of the way. Take your time. Wiping your kit off too quickly might shake free any radioactive dust, and that's not going to help anyone. A shower would also be quite handy. By all means, treat yourself to some soap and shampoo to help wash yourself off, but avoid using conditioner. It will bind radioactive particles to your hair. Even if there's no shower, wash your face, hands, and any body parts that were uncovered using a sink, damp cloth, or wet wipe. Again, the key is using plenty of water and taking your time. 
The last thing you want to do is scratch yourself and allow radioactive material to get into your skin. By now, it's likely an hour has passed, which means that the radioactive fallout outside will have already decayed by 50%. Within the first 24 hours, it will have given up 80% of its energy, going up to 99% after two weeks. But remember, if the radiation was high enough to begin with, that 1% could still be dangerous. So staying indoors for as long as significantly possible reduces your chances of contamination. If you have any farm or any land around your garden, use it to the maximum to plant a vegetable every time. And if you don't have, then maybe you squeeze together and keep one room free. And in that room, you grow vegetables. It doesn't have to be big deal vegetables. Any vegetable you eat, most of them, for example, even cabbage, if you take out all the leaves in the middle, it has a core. If you don't cut to dip into the core to damage it, then you just plant it in the earth and water it. It will grow. Yes, master. Yes, master. I promise it does. Yes. I did that before. It helps. It really grows. And even peppermint, you take out some leaves already and just a stem left. You plant it. The little branch, you plant it in the soil. It will grow again. And vegetables like bok choy and stuff like that, you just cut the leaves and leave the end of the bok choy or the vegetable about two, three inches and then plant it again. Yes, Master. It will grow out just as new. And broccoli, core, everything. I did that before. Yes, Master. Yes. I think I might have some photographs somewhere. They grow out of them. They grow again like new in no time. Wow, wow. I yeah. see, Master. Yes, master. It really grows. And you can buy a lot of seeds, a lot of beans, and begin growing vegetables already. I mean, the beans can grow sprouts. And even in shortest cases, the bean sprouts and the dry beans are enough for you to consume and to survive. Yes, master. Yes, master. And beans and seeds don't go bad so quickly. You can always keep growing them and eating them. Instead of going out to buy vegetables, because in emergency times, there might be no shops, no vegetables for you to buy. And store some water in containers, gallons or something already. Yes, Master. Okay, yes, master. master. And in the case of emergency, just keep them to drink, not to bath or anything. Maybe just clean your teeth, but not bathing. Maybe just use a wet towel to wipe your body whenever needed. It doesn't have to be every day. Yes, Master. 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 In uh, Buddhism, the monks take a bath every two weeks. I do the same, and it doesn't matter. It's okay nowadays. Of course, if I have to go out and lecture, then I have to make myself more clean. But I feel clean the way I'm doing it. And you don't have to eat three meals a day if you don't work so hard, you don't go out or anything. Normally, one meal is enough. You just eat until you are happy, and that's all you need, really. Okay, master. Understand, master. Understand, master. And if you don't have any money to store a lot of food and fancy things, you just buy like brown rice and sesame already roasted or even maybe raw and then you roast it yourself if you can. If not, just buy roasted sesame and eat it with brown rice and salt. So store some of these. It will last a long time. Yes, master. Yes, master. But the brown rice doesn't last as long as white rice. Oh. So you buy both. So you eat first the brown rice and then the white rice you eat later. I understand. Okay, Master. Keep sesame and peanuts. Those things have a lot, a lot of protein. Even if you cannot cook anything, you can eat them with rice. I understand. I understand. And then you have enough nutrition to survive. Yes. Yes, Master. I have done that for three months at least. When I did not have any so-called disciples, I went on retreat, like every month should do, every year, three months, all the rainy season. And I ate only brown rice, sesame, and some salt. And at that time, I could afford a bottle of soya sauce, and I added a little bit for taste. Otherwise, it brown rice, sesame, and salt is good enough already. I understand, Master. And uh, look on the internet to learn from other people how they grow their vegetables in the house. 
inside any room with even buckets or even plastic bags or any discarded uh, bags, you know, anything they grow in, how they grow them and how they harvest and use them. Yes, master. Yes, master. I'll grow it on the balcony, grow it in even your big bathroom. I did grow, uh, how to say, soya sprouts in my bathtub before. Oh, wow. So all this I tell you is from my own experience also. You can grow anything inside the house and put them next to the window sill or on the window sill or next to the window or spare one room. Also put them in your living room just as a plant, you know, just as a decorative plant as well. Yes, yes master. master. It doesn't have to be uh, planting any other plants. You can plant your vegetables as decorative plants so that you are ready in case of emergency. I understand, Master. If there's nothing else you can buy or it's not possible to have any money or nobody would accept any money, just just keep growing them. Even if there's no emergency, you still can eat them. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes. Every day you need them. Anyway, you, you have to go to the supermarket to buy them. And nowadays, food keeps getting less and less available and more and more expensive. So you can grow them easily, very easily. All the plant needs is just soy, any soy, you know, from the garden or you buy from the shop and mix with some soy in your garden or some some sand. And if you have garden, you have trees, then you can use the leaves to compost Yes, 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 yes. And anything like when you mow the grass, you just put it in a compost together with the leaves and put some soil and some things, and it will be fantastic already. Yes, yes. I don't have all that luxury. I did not have. So at that time when I planted, I just put tea leaves, you know, the, mm. the tea bags that you drink. Yes, yes, uh, yes, master. You put in your, your cup to make tea, and the bag is still there. Yes, you yes. take it out. And uh, and then put it on your plant. Yes. Oh, I see. They grow like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so truly, we don't need a lot in life. If you don't have anything to eat, make sure you have brown rice, sesame, and salt, and you will survive. Yes, master. Yes. And water. Thank you, master. And make sure you keep some of the water filters so that in case the water becomes contaminated or dirty, you can filter the water and cook it or drink it straight without cooking. It depends. Yes, must understand, must understand. But I always cook the water even if it's filtered. I, I feel I'm more safer that way. I feel better. Mm. You should buy canned food. So no need to cook in the event that we don't have even electricity or gas or any means of cooking. Have to prepare for all scenarios. You have to even train your pet people to do their business inside, somewhere in the bathroom or with some piece of uh, maybe uh, artificial grass or, or anything that they will do there for who people inside. On, because in the case of a nuclear or atomic explosion, the pet people cannot go outside because they will bring the toxic radiation into the house when they come back in. And that will be bad for all of you, including the pet people. There are so many things we have to do uh, if we want to survive. In any case, it's some demonic, uh, uh, evil war between humans. We don't just have to deal with human war mongers. We have to even deal with now the, the demonic force which is compelled to come, kill, and destroy, and wipe out humanity. Some of the top demons that I have, you know, banned to hell, they are allowed to come back now. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I don't know how to win this situation, because we must have human cooperation as well to be stronger in order to defeat all these negative force, they're everywhere now. They're seducing humans and they are contaminating humans and they are poisoning humans' brains, minds and bodies. That's why you can see all kind of disasters 
coming almost together, but it will get worse even. It will come more together at the same time. All kind of disasters, diseases and all that. It's just beginning only. Wow. And in order to win this karmic war, we need also humans cooperation, you know, so that heaven and earth are united. Understand. Okay. Yes, Master. Then we'll be stronger to be able to make peace, to create harmony and safety for all humans and all other non-human people on this planet. I feel very, very frustrated and very lonely, even with the help of heavens. Anyone would feel lonely without the cooperation of the Earth's inhabitants. I hope, I hope everyone understands what I'm saying. Yeah, we hope so. United we stand, because this is about the world, Earthlings and the animal people. To live here. The animal people cooperate with us, but humans, not completely, not a lot at the moment. So even though heavens comforted me and told me, don't, don't lose hope to save your planet, I just, at the moment, honestly, I just don't know how we can win. Oh, please pray whoever can, please. We need all humanity to stand up, you know, to back us in this troubled time. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot cry anymore. Ah, then I say, whatever happens, happens. The soul will not die ever. It's just the human souls or animal people souls are still trapped in many layers of so-called bodies. So even if the physical bodies are gone, the astral bodies are still there and will still be punished in hell, you know, oh, horribly. You cannot imagine the punishment there, whoever has to go to hell. But, uh, oh God, la. but they don't know it, that is a problem. Oh, they're so blind. So blindfolded, they don't know heavens, they don't know hell, and they just do anything, thinking there's no consequences. And my heart cannot continue to bear this. <laughs> because, because if humanity is wiped out en masse, at the same time, it's very difficult to help the soul. It's difficult to rescue the souls if they are going en masse like that. It's say that you, they will be wiped out, you know, it's the words of heaven, not mine, wiped out. 72%, my God. I mean, the first half of it and then the next half coming. And that's it. Goodbye, planet Earth. 2047 will be all gone. It's not about going. You, the initiates, will go to heaven, but other people will suffer no end in hell, my God. Oh, I pray so much, but I don't know if anything will help anymore. The situation is just like when doctors and nurses want to help the patient, but the patient doesn't do anything that he is supposed to do in order to get well. The patient has to also cooperate with the medical personnel in order to get well. He has to take the prescribed medicine, has to trust the doctors, has to be willing to cooperate, to fight with the doctors in order to defeat 
the disease which is ravaging his body. Uh, we don't have that much cooperation from the world people. The animal people, they cannot do much, you know, but the world people can. They are given all the capabilities, intelligence, and tools to make peace between themselves and with the co-inhabitants, animal people. But they're just not doing it. They're not doing it. Some, but the percentage is so low. Just take the medicine. Just be vegan. My God. It's not even about God or spirituality. It's scientifically proven that vegan will save you, save your lives, save your loved ones, and save your planet. Please just go vegan. Be repentant. Make peace. <laughs> Do good deeds. So save whatever you can and be as independent as possible because you might need to be in that position, in that spirit of self-cultivation, self-harvesting, and self, you know, taking care of yourself so that you can survive. In some cases, the, the world people are so crazy. You can imagine that there's such a crazy person in the Kremlin and in the whole country. There are so many military people, so many strong people, and they could not even defeat one crazy person and to keep following him and die in hundreds of thousands in this foreign land, in Ukraine, for example. Yes, yes, yes master. master. That's how things happen, you know, even like uh, Hitler, you know, also the whole country followed him until he fell. Yes. So anything could happen in this crazy world because of karma, so be ready, be prepared. In case I fail also, I mean, in case the group, our group, the heaven group fails because to be calm. Understand, master. Understand. But because heaven also told me, do not lose your hope to save your world. So I'm keeping that hope alive, even weak, like a small flame, but it can spread to a bigger flame. For example, you have just one small candle. But if you have wood, leaves and dry things, uh, burnable things in the garden, you can use a candle to make a big fire. Yes, yes, yes master. master. So I keep that flame alive. And so should you, and so should the disciples. We are not as many as the whole world, but we must try. We must have faith in God, in justice, and in our own purity, goodness, and in our unconditional love for humankind and other people, other beings on this planet. We pray and we meditate as much as possible. Yes, Master. Yes. Nothing is as important as your meditation and prayers. Especially nowadays, everyone should remember that. Your time is precious, more precious now than ever. Please do not neglect your duty, like praying for the world, meditating for yourself and for the world as well. We do share the merit, the blessing of meditation that God bestows through us. So whatever we do spiritually, sincerely, it will help the world. I mean, maybe not the whole world, because this time is a time of real cleansing. It's supposed to be the golden age, but not too many are fit to live in it. So that's how the world may be destroyed. The world is wiping out all humanity. That's what they told me. Wow. Anyway, I hope I'm wrong. And moreover, I hope we will win. The positive power of people will win. With God's blessing, God's grace, and God's mercy. Yes, Master. Amen. Pray for that. Yes, yes, yes Master. Master. Thank you, Master. We will fight until the very end with you, Master. Yes.
What you are doing is fighting also without weapons. We don't need any weapons. We don't want any. Yes, Master. You know, the world has spent crazy billions, trillions all the time now just to make killing weapons instead of spending it to uplift people, to help the poor and to help the needy. You know, how many people would benefit from that if war never happens, if all these weapons are never produced and all that money goes to the needy people, then we will never have any poverty in this world to start with. Yes, yes, yes. Master. Master. But they do. My God, any country, even the richest country, also has homeless and destitute poor people. But they spend billions and trillions even just to keep making these murderous, destructive weapons. Why is that? Our world is beautiful. We don't need anything except whatever God gave us already. We will have enough for everyone. Why keep killing? Why fighting? So they must be crazy. You understand? Or possessed by demons. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes. That's what it is. There's no sense. Yes. Yeah. Is there? Huh? No, no, sense. no, no, no sense at all. Nobody can believe that now in the 21st century, they're still fighting, still killing with no remorse, no repentance, no sorrow, nothing. They don't have heart. They don't have love. They only have demons in them. That's how they can do it. Or what else? Can you explain it to me? Can you? No, no, no. master. Hmm? We will fight till the end. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. Yes. One more thing I want to say, even to the disciples only, or for whoever listens, please don't mind, don't care. Just be virtuous, be good. And even if you die, it's just a change of clothes. But if you're not virtuous, not conscientious, not moral, then you should be worried because hell will be waiting to clean you up and it could take long, 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 long decades or of millennium even. So just make sure that you're worthy of heaven's loving, caring, mercy and grace. That's all we should worry about. So even if we die, it's just changing clothes, you know, you'll be okay. The soul will never die, just the body changes. So do not be too afraid. Okay, Master. Just live your life as normal. Just more intensely praying, meditating, and helping others. That's all you can do for this time in our history. Understand, Master. Don't worry too much, okay? All this could change. We are working on it. We're working on it. Heaven and my humble self. Do what we can so that this 2027, 2031 will not happen the way it's supposed to happen. Understand, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Yeah. Thank you, Master. If it happens, then it happens. Our souls will never die anyway, especially for the initiates. You will be liberated. You will go to Tim Kutu's land and you will be happy. Thank you, Thank you Master. Master. Even if you're not high enough to go there, you can go to some last of heaven and then slowly go up. The initiated people. My initiates, I don't know about other people's initiates. I just can only promise my own initiates can go to Tim Kutu's land sooner or later. Thank, Thank, you, Master. Master. Thank you, Master. Thank, Thank you, Master. Master. Okay, any other comments or, or, or questions? Anything at all? Thank you, Master, for sharing. We hope that the horrific event will not happen, the positive forces will win, Master will win, and that humanity will survive. We stand with Master to win. God bless you. I thank you for working diligently for the noble cause. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. We love you, Master. This is what we can do to help others and ourselves and our relatives, our generations, uh, whoever we can. May God bless us all. Amen. 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 Okay, till next time, huh? my love. Thank you, Master. Thank, Thank you, you Master. Much, Master. Love Thank you, Master. Master. All information concerning the scientific evidence of climate change and its solution is in Supreme Master Ching Hai's book, 
From Crisis to Peace. Free for download at crisistopeace.org. To our most compassionate master, we offer sincerest thanks for your eternal guiding light on our earthly journey and beyond. Your love and benevolence truly surround and protect all beings. In these exceptional times, may we all recognize our dependence on heaven's mercy and express gratitude for God's countless blessings in our daily lives. Let us acknowledge the immense power of our free will to turn vegan, repent and do good deeds now for the sake of a brighter world filled with harmony, compassion and divinity. Wishing cherished master, wellness, peace, and safety with the loving assistance of all glorious protectors. This clip will be aired with more subtitles later today. For the full broadcast of this conference that includes a story about the simple daily vegan meal of a very strong Qigong practitioner from Taiwan or Formosa, please tune in on Monday, March 6, 2023 on Between Master and Disciples. Also, for your reference, please check out the previews related between Master and Disciples conferences such as Appreciate God's Leniency and Listen to His Commandments, Pray for World Liberation, Last Call to Turn Vegan and Repent Sincerely, Countries with Most Karma, Humans Must Pray for Forgiveness, Go in the Direction of Peace and Be Grateful to Have a Better Life, etc. To view these and more related between Master and Disciples conferences, all free for download, please visit SupremeMasterTV.com and search for Heaven's Revelations.